based upon seeding. Even if that were to happen, he still placed fifth out of, you know, nearly 1,200 entrants at this tournament. This is an amazing placement either way, so I could definitely see a top 50. Yeah, and he's only lost so far as MK Leo. Oh, so, I, I mean, think I think we're going we're going right in. We are going right into it. They did not. Wa There's no button check here. We have Zero Suit Samus versus Pokemon Trainer Game One on the Battlefield. First time we're seeing that as well. Explosive start to both players. We have Ivasaur as the main switch here. Of course, you can get great combos off down throws. We have to land them first and not get grabbed by Zero Suit's own tether grab. That was actually one of the fastest <laughs> starts to ascend. Yeah. They definitely took two seconds. Like, all right, Battlefield, all right. <laughs> they, they, it was two dogs going at it unleashing the cage. Puppy switching the, I love that. Switch the Charizard and use Charizard's long air dodge to snap back to the stage without doing a long lasting up B. That would definitely, <gasps> definitely wouldn't have paid off. He found that forward smash. He leaned his neck back and swung. Getting the first lead in the set. I mean, Puppet is very confident of his Charizard play. He did talk about it. I think uh, one thing I think I think I see a lot, a lot of Pokemon trainer is that obviously if they're a high percent, they usually switch to Charizard because heavier character you'll die later. And even if you you know are a bigger target, you get come a little easier more. It might be the difference between living for two or more hits versus one more hit, and that could be all the difference one player needs to close out a set. Yeah, all three Pokemon are definitely used in different ways. Squirtle is mainly used for the short frame and then having the crazy combos at lower percent. Ivysaur is just really good wow. overall. And then Charizard comes clutch in terms of heavy kill throw and also an uh, probably the recovery that goes the hardest. Yeah. I think Puppet needs to be aware of just how fast Zero Samus' jab comes out. Has to respect those aerials. And was that a taunt from Mars? I believe it was. Trying to feel himself back again, knowing that he's one step closer to getting his chance to have revenge on MK Leo. Should his bracket run continue, low up B there, nearly died. Very, very, very good patience there, waiting for the first jab. But then Mars is so good at mixing it up. Like, you might have expected the full jab, but then he only went for the first hit. Right. All right, Puppe now switching at 100% to, or 57% to Charizard. Mars whiffing a spike off the stage. Mars catching a lot of players with the down B very. Oh, greedy side B from Mars. It's going to cost him. You do not want to contest Charizard's Nair that far off the stage. Yeah, Mars is definitely, ooh, that My is the neutral air back goodness. here. Don't confirm that he's been using all tournament here. Very effective here. Zero, Squirtle is light, man. <laughs> yes, he is. Squirtle is a little tiny turtle. It goes up to show how consistent this confirm is. I mean, if you can do a confirm on a character like Squirtle, you can pretty much do it on almost anybody. And that makes sense. I can see now why Puppet might want to opt away from playing Squirtle at all this next game. And I've been saying it again, but this might be his last match of the entire tournament. Needs to use all of his awareness, needs to understand how quickly Zero Switch uh, um, attacks come out, but also needs to understand that his recovery mix ups have to be a little more varied. Nairus, or Mars has been leading him very, very well on the ledge. We're going to Smashville here. Pretty standard pick. Okay, good parry, but whiff the grab, unfortunately. Now he's blocking the down B. Yeah. He's definitely watching out for more Mars flip kicks. With instant adaptation. He tried to punish there. He felt like he, he, there's one thing that really tricks a lot of players that most people think you can punish Zero Suit's neutral air, but then you really can't. Yeah, you see how he goes neutral into jab and it connects every single time. Almost died from that up B. Very great stock so far from Mars, not showing any fear. Up being, but those led for safety. Mars really just up B on a landing charge. So he did not, he was just not afraid whatsoever. Yeah, my man. What? Uh, that might be a little bit of a flex right there. Any other person I think would have forward smash. Look at the way he's pressuring here. He notices that Charizard oh has no shield and gets my. the tech chase right there. Easy. Yeah, this is full confidence. Mars is absolutely yeah. dominated here. He's, he's toying with Puppet at this point. He's a side B here to cover the right air dodge. And a grab to get a running Squirtle. And a down air. He is not stopping. No signs either. All right, Ivasaur again when comes out. This has been the character that has gotten Puppet so many comebacks. That backer almost oh. in. It goes for the flip kick pressure here. Tries to get the lower backer into the down air to cover the ledge jump. Oh and my. gets the down smash oh. read into the up B. Zero. Easy. This is destruction. This is actually very dominant. Mars showing why he is considered to be top three in the world. This is this is a download with fiber internet, Zero. He is not stopping. This is this is looking really oh. bad. Like at this point, I think oh. that gets the flip hit air dodge here. 
And that is it, it's over. We have a three stock to send Puppet back home. Mars showing his dominance. They went into that match with no button warmer and they left it as quickly as they went in, Zero.